Zaga, this is Mailman representing Jamaica Social Stock Exchange. We have a thing called Rebuild Good Shepherd. Yeah? Re rebuild Good Shepherd. We need 31 million dollars to build back this place because the homeless place for the homeless and for the poor and the unfortunate. So we need to build back the place so the people them can actually have somewhere to go. They have somewhere can they, they can get a warm bed or they can have a, a warm bed of food or have a bath or something and, 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 and have some guidance, you know. So we need to build it. So we need Jamaicans to come together and link with the Jamaica Social Stock Exchange. So people, we are begging you. Know, it's Good Shepherd, it's home for the homeless in Burnout. So we just want to know this from Argos to Place Burnout, and I know the people in have known for So make we as Jamaican come together, be one unity and one strength, and help these people. We need 31 million, because we have to cast that from one level to 31 million. Please help us. Welcome back viewers. So people, the Dr. Beanie Man has spoken. And you hear for yourself, the man said from August, the place Bondong and the people them not have nowhere to go. So here we go on. We can't only highlight negativity on social media. We have to highlight the positive things too. So you see, if you, yes, you in the position where you can contribute a dollar, contribute and help out to a good cause. You see what I say? Because when I see the doctor upload that video, they say, you know something? Me need to bring that video here and make a wider audience hear the cause where the doctor push for. See it? So anyway. Now if this is your very first time to this channel and you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so once we upload a video, you will get that alert. Now let's move right on to the topic. Alright, so Jamaican entertainer Flower Gun, there was an article released a couple days ago where it make headline everywhere that Flower Gun won a settlement with international star Miley Cyrus. Right, and the settlement was allegedly one at the amount of three million US dollars. Right now, people, since that come out, it's like everybody at talk about it. Him lawyers, I say, yo, them, them client is kinda in fear because all kind of people are calling a query about this three million dollar. Now, people, who don't know how Jamaican turn, you know, if you win the lotto, everybody. Body will never chat to you from 10 years ago. Find your number for call you. So I kind of the same thing reads Flower Gun. You see what I say? But anyway, now Flower Gun lawyers I say, wait the man. The, the, the article that will come out what they talk about Flower Gun get $3 million. Yo, them are exaggerate. You see me? But my avid phone no? I want to sit back and take a listen to the article. See it? Welcome to Unstoppable's What's Making the Headlines. And making the headlines of the Jamaica Observer today, it says exaggerated. Lawyers don't play a Flower Gun set Settlement reports. And in the newspaper today, it says amidst reports of a huge payout for Jamaican DJ Flower Gun following a settlement in the lawsuit against American pop star Miley Cyrus. His attorneys from the New York based law firm Drummond and Squillis are downplaying the matter, which has gone viral on both social media as well as mainstream news outlets. In an interview with the Jamaica Observer, attorneys Stephen Drummond and Joan Squillis referred to the reports of a $3 million US payout for the client, whose given name is Michael May, as being exaggerated and speculative, but confirmed that the case had been resolved. The case has been resolved to the mutual satisfaction of all parties to the extent that there are any reports that Mr. May received monetary windfall in connection to the settlement. Those reports are highly exaggerated and speculative, said the attorneys. Meanwhile, there are concerns for the safety of the artists following the reports of the settlement. Floragan has reportedly been receiving calls from all over the world since the story broke. On Friday, a news agency detailed that Miley Cyrus had settled the copyright infringement lawsuit in which she was accused of stealing her 2013 hit song, We Can't Stop, from Frogan's We Run Things, which she recorded a quarter century earlier in 1988. Cyrus and her label RCA Records were accused of misappropriating material including the phrase, We Run Things, Things No Run We as carried in Floragon's 1988 song. 
which he sang as We Run Things, Things Don't Run We. Cyrus' song was written and produced by a team which included Rock City and American music duo from St. Thomas, US Virgin Islands. The duo consists of brothers Theron Uptown, AP Thomas and Timothy A.I. Thomas. According to the news report, Miley Cyrus and Sony Records, other defendants filed a joint stipulation in Manhattan Federal Court on Friday, ending the lawsuit with prejudice, meaning it cannot be filed again. In an interview with The Observer two weeks ago, the DJ and his legal team steered clear from any definite answers regarding the settlement of the case. I'm really thankful for the hard work of my lawyers, Mr. Drummond and his team. I'm really grateful for what has happened. I am really happy because my lawyers work very hard. What I did was to make sure that other artists in Jamaica may try their best to protect their thing. Whenever time people try to use our music, we must go forward and protect our things and collect what we are supposed to collect because we work hard they take it as a habit to use jamaican music without permission so i put out the work with my team and i want other artists to do the same so when people see our music they must deal with it proper so we can have what we work for floragan said speaking then the Jamaican born German noted that he was optimistic of the outcome but declined to say whether the settlement was reached via the courts or through mediation. In light of everything that had taken place, we are looking forward to an amicable settlement, one that will see all sides being pleased, he told the observer. Produced by Redman International, We Run Things was one of the biggest dancehall songs of 1988. However, Flowergan did not register it until 2007. 17, four years after Cyrus released her song. Cyrus and her team had responded with at least three arguments why Floragan's claim was invalid. They argued that a single lyric is not protected by copyright. Also that Cyrus's use of it was fear and that the DJ's lyric in We Run Things is not original. However, Floragan and his team earned a lifeline when American magistrate Robert Lenberg suggested that his colleague Louis Kaplan, the district judge assigned to hear the matter, not dismiss the case on summary judgment as recommended by Cyrus's legal team, even though her fair use defense is probably sound. Lenberg said that Kaplan should halt the motion by Cyrus's team to have the matter dismissed immediately. He added that Kaplan might want to limit any damages claimed by Floragan to just three years before he filed his lawsuit last people, year. Like Floragan actually get the three million US and just have come with this now for China, for kind of try and, you know, steer off the people, them, they beggar them with a call off him phone. Me feel so, you know. Talk to me down in the comment section. Let me know if you feel like Flowagan actually get the 3 mil US. You see me? But anyway, Richie Feelings. Yeah, you know Richie Feelings. Yeah, select a Richie Feelings of a thing where I want to say about this pertaining to the whole copyright thing where, 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 where Flowagan file against Miley Cyrus. So let's see where Richie Feelings have to say. Watch this now. We Jamaican people, we take joke and we take laugh and we take everything for nothing. Flowergan sing him song and Flowergan him do him song 20 years ago or 30 years ago or how long him want to do him song see Miley Cyrus sample some, some out of the song him never get no compensation because a lot of people don't understand that's why they said you must learn to educate yourself on things easy not his themes see People don't educate themselves on things. You have a thing called copyright infringement. It's just like you post a video on social media with people singing at it. Remember, say, you can't post the people them song just so. That's why you see people always talk about, I don't own the rights to these music and radio because they will delete your video. Trust me, they do it to whole heap of my video them because enough of the life them when me do, they don't get to save. Because when them do save, them delete it because of the copyright infringement, because of the laws. So now, Miley Cyrus sing her song. The man wait until whatever, 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 whatever. How much years ago the song, the song sing. See? And then the man just goes a bam. And say, hey, I'm sorry, you know. Because remember, you have to aim. Aye. Where people don't understand, you know. Sheba. 
you have to aim high. So when him sold for the 300 million, he's not going to get 300 million. We don't know how much him get, but he's going to get an undisclosed sum amount. Him not, they're not going to tell him. He's not going to come tell him business that how much him get. That him and the lawyer. So remember, these cases are cases where a lawyer is willing to take up. Because they know it's a must win. And when the lawyer, when the lawyer go collect, so if him, if him get a hundred thousand or two hundred thousand or whatever him want get, because then the twenty thousand and the money they might get, him get enough money. Seeing is his song, is his songs, you know, it is it, it, his song. The whole song is not his song, but some lines in the song. All right, when you hear Beyonce say, "I'm stepping in out of this air, I'm stepping in out of this air," remember that she said that in her song, you know. Remember she said that in her song. Wanna know who sing I'm stepping in other this year? Ainika Mosey. Ainika Mosey sing that and Ainika Mosey is a Jamaican. And Ainika Mosey never sue, but they get money for it. So that's why Ainika Mosey no sue. Because that is what they do. Everybody with their own Beyonce a Jamaican or dancer them, or chef them, or everybody around her. Our advisor them, not for them, a Jamaican them. So them know everything about the culture. So them not put themselves in the position to reach Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus, them have money, you know. Remember, say me a watch a little girl up on Disney Channel. See? So, no for you know, they sample with things all the while. All the while, them sample with things. But when you don't have proper representation, like sign up for your ask cap to get anything from me. Like, if, I, if somebody, all right. Oh, 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 they do something. All right, remember, say, my boy do broke, up, broke off your back. I the remix him do, you know. Your thing, say, Conscience are going to swim because remember, say, label and label don't agree upon him for do the, do the, do the broke off your back. Because if he never um, link conscience people, then he could not do it. You that hear, say, him get so. You understand? So, this is what Jamaican people need to do stop jump up and act ignorant. You don't need to learn and understand and listen. Listen. And learn. A good listener is a good learner. When you learn, when you listen, you learn. And when you learn, you will earn. Because me see people are jump up and I say, Oh, flower gun for low the girl sang and the song don't sound alike. It's not the sound alike. If you listen to the old song, she sampled some parts, not all of the song. She sampled a few lines out of his original songs. You understand? She sampled a few lines. It's not the whole song. Because if I did the whole song, a, a million she would have to pay out. You understand? Just like how um, the man sing, Let's get it on. Let's get it on. We are on. Remember, say, when him that he do that song, Marvin Gaye. Fame picked me them. Sue Farrell. For $8 million and win. Because he sampled. Marvin Gaye sang some lines out of Marvin Gaye sang without they giving the copyright for it. You understand? And he had to pay because the song is evident. All you have to do, you know, you sing your song and your song, it all depends on how far your song go. 30 years, 40 years. Remember Kanye West did sample, well, it is a weeping and a mourning and a national pe Them something there from 1970. See, when we're not born yet. See, from 1970, them something there. Fuzzy Jones, the man name. And Kanye West sample that. So if him family them, don't sign up or the producer for that I go collect. You understand? So now for remember them always are sample with things. You understand? Anyway, God God Miley Cyrus and Flower Gun. See, and a Jamaica win. And the man sing him song. And him sing good song and she sample something out of it. That's why good music always will prevail. You understand? Well, there you have it, viewers. What do you about what Richie feeling say? You see, tell me down in the comment section. Let me know if you don't agree with Richie or if you get a better understanding of why Flower Gun sue Miley Cyrus. See, this has been another one from Unstoppable TV. Like, share, comment, and definitely don't forget to subscribe. Watch out, man. Until the next video, no matter what, don't let nobody stop you. It's Unstoppable, and I'm out. Right now, you know we're Unstoppable. Unstoppable.